guy right here is a thermal imaging camera and this is how they test the different machines that they build. They actually point a thermal imaging camera at it and make sure that uh, all the heat is well controlled and stuff. This computer is not my computer, but it's one that's very similar to my computer, so it's, this is extra interesting to me uh, just to see all the quality control stuff that they do to all the computer builds that they do. And what we're looking for is if anything is overheating so that way we can adjust the airflow if needed. Gotcha, okay, cool. Anything in red and orange is within, is within our, our normal expected range. If any of this turns white, especially like on the motherboard and the RAM, then we know that we have a, a bit of an issue and we want to correct that. Right, so all of your heat right now is in the graphics card, which is to be expected? Yes. Cool. And then you can see on the CPU, the heat pipes where they, where they protrude out from the, from the brace is starting to warm up as well. The higher the capacity of the RAM modules goes, the more heat that we expected it to be on there. This picture is basically showing me that we are operating under normal circumstances and that the cooling is adequate for this setup. Awesome. Hey, how's it going, Nick? It's Wilson, going well. one so, of the consultants here. Tell me uh, what you're uh, wanting a system for. Lightroom, Photoshop, those are probably the, the two programs I use the most. But more and more, I'm doing a whole lot of video stuff. Like I sell tutorials and make YouTube videos, and the rendering times have just gotten painfully slow. I need something where I can render and not have to like lose my computer for the rest of the day <laughs> every time I have to export a video. Sure. It's at about this point that we start talking nerd talk where we start talking about graphics cards, processors, and all of the different fun stuff that I'm going to need in my computer and all of the different parts and pieces that were going to make the most sense for me and my build. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for all stopping right. by. Thank you. All right. I'm excited. Today is the day. I've been waiting for this day for approximately 10 days. I ordered the computer 10 days ago. It's showing up today. They overnighted it to me and I am incredibly excited. So first of all, why did I do this computer build? My current computer is getting fairly old now. I've, I've had it for five years and I picked it up used. I actually bought it from a guy that built it for gaming and I got that like when I started photography. And for the longest time, it's been plenty. It's got 12 gigs of RAM, which isn't too bad but I've maxed out the amount of RAM that I can put in it. The video card is starting, it's kind of on its way out. Now that I'm doing so much more video, I really notice those long rendering times. It's been taking me an hour to export a video that is only 10 minutes long, and as many videos as I've been doing, it's just been costing me tons and tons of time. Not to mention I'm starting to notice slowdowns in both Lightroom and Photoshop. My computer's just getting tired and it's time for a new one. Okay, so let's go over the specs of this particular build and why I went that route. First of all, it has three internal hard drives, one solid state drive for my operating system and programs. The other solid state drive is going to be for working on current projects. It's going to be my current projects only drive. So when I'm working on a video or I'm working on a particular photo shoot, I move them onto that SD drive, I work on them, I get really fast read write times and then I move those files off onto this guy which will be my internal storage for my current projects. Once I'm completely done with a set of photos or video files, I move them over onto my Syntology NAS system, which has 32 terabytes of storage in there. So that's where I move all of my files after I'm done with them. Okay, so for the rest of the specs, I built my computer based off of their Genesis 1 build. So if you want to look up the specs of that, or you're interested in customizing one yourself, it's called the Genesis 1. So for the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte X299. It's a really good motherboard, it accepts a whole bunch of RAM, and I also have Thunderbolt connections on this computer. The processor that I went with is an Intel i9 3.3 gigahertz 10 core processor. The reason I went with 10 cores is because I'm doing a lot more video now, and I'm hoping to go to 4K soon on this, on the YouTube channel as well as my tutorials. I just needed a faster processor. As far as RAM, I have 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and the video card that I went with is a GTX 1080 Ti with 11 gigs of RAM built in, and that's also going to help with all the video editing I'm doing. Not to mention Lightroom and Photoshop are starting to tap into your GPU to help accelerate things. I am absolutely ready for an upgrade. I cannot wait to have faster rendering times and Yay. the light went in there.